Hello, Liu. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. This is your energy reading for the 10th of October week. And as a reminder, I do not do traditional tarot reading. What I do is energy reading. And I use these cards as a doorway to tap into the energy for you. Okay? So this is a general reading. Take it as it resonates. So Leo, I'm going to pick three cards to begin. And then uh, we'll go on from there. So first card, the Midas Touch. All right. Second... Seeker of Crystals. And then we have Little Red Cat. Okay, wow. Lots of things happening for you this week, Leo. Um, let's see. Okay, so. Okay, so first lesson here for you in the week is not to be naive, not to uh, really to be open. All right, and seek guidance from others who are wiser than you. Um, not to be naive with what looks like... Uh, okay, think of it this way. If something is too good to be true, it is too good to be true. All right, that is the, your main message. You have to um, develop right a, a certain level of wisdom. And there will be you know, lessons along the way for you this week to test you on this. You know, and to move you out of a naive state. You may have a naive way of looking at the world or a certain situation that's happening in your life and you're not seeing truth as it really is and that can blind you, all right? It can blindside you and then you, you will end up making a mistake. So be open to the wisdom from others who are wiser than you, who have been there, who have done that sort of thing. And you will find yourself transforming, right? From a naive, um, from a naive psychology to much more, uh, to a psych psycho psychological state that is much wiser, all right? So interesting lessons coming up for you um, this week. The other thing also is that, um, in fact, you know, you do have um, people around you who are quite wise, who can advise you, but you must ask, all right? The, uh, the important thing for you is you must always ask for advice. You must seek the opinion of others who you respect and whom you know uh, knows better than you. And it is important to be able to be open to the right kind of guidance uh, from other people, right? So be open also to your own a higher self, right? Your own uh, inner guidance um, that learn to differentiate between um, your unconscious, which is the, you know, from the lower mind and also uh, what is your higher mind. Higher mind is the higher self. Learn to differentiate the two and when you get to see the difference between the two, you will make wiser choices in life, Okay. So the other thing that has come up is the Midas touch. So seemingly, everything you touch is turning to gold, right? We all know that story. But um, if we are greedy, right, or if we want more, we allow greed to take over, then we'll be blind to what is important in our lives. Like this king, right? He, you know, he asked for the Midas touch. And then what happened is he could not even touch his own daughter. And when he did, she turned to a gold statue. So that is a good lesson to be learned. Um, the, the lesson here for you this week is that whatever is being presented to you, as said earlier on, is if it's too good to be true, um, listen to that nagging feeling inside you that makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Um, it makes you feel like, should I trust this completely? Listen to that. That is very important because that's your inner compass telling you that something is not quite right. Nothing is what it seems. Okay, so um, seek the advice of others and do not allow yourself to be blindsided. So let's see. So quite a lot of learning for you this week, a uh, life learning essentially. And um, I would say it's exciting. You know, every time we go through a phase of learning, we grow a little, right? So let's see what three cards are from this deck. And we have Burden. Okay, let's piece the story together. We have home. And we have also abundance. Very nice, Leo. So um, 
you are carrying too much burden because you feel like you need to go at it alone. You don't have to, right? The energy supporting you are energies on the home front, right? Home can be a physical home, right? Your family or home could be people that you feel a connection with. So home not, does not necessarily mean um, just your immediate family or you have to be blood related. Sometimes home it will be people that you have a close connection with. Home is also your own body. Are you comfortable within your own body? Are you carrying extra burden that do not belong to you, right? You need to draw that boundaries. What's not yours, put it outside the home. They do not come into the home, okay? So this includes negative thoughts, negative emotions. Learn to differentiate what is yours and what is not. I feel like there is also a big lesson for you this week on discernment, right? Um, so nothing is, you know, as it seems, this is the theme. And then you also, you know, have this, this, you know, are you carrying extra burden? You need to have clear boundaries with other people. What kind of load are you carrying that are not yours? They do not belong to you. Do not bring it home, right? And um, when you do that, you open yourself up to greater abundance. Very nice, okay? Abundance could be in the form of energy, resources, opportunities, uh, well, money, of course, right? It doesn't have to be, but, you know, it can. So let's look at time frame from this deck, Leo. And we have here balance, spirituality, and practicality. So this is the entire, we just start, I think today is the full moon, if I'm not wrong, but do check the lunar calendar, um, starting um, the 10th of October week, right? I think we we'll just just past the full moon. So the entire month, right, the focus is on balancing spirituality and practicality. And from this full moon to the next full moon, okay? So in 14 days, a new romantic cycle begins. And this is a time when you get you develop a new inner relationship with yourself. And this has to do with your creative force. Maybe in two weeks, you start writing, you start uh, allowing your creative energies to come up. For some of you, Leo, you may be entering a new cycle with your romantic partner. Uh, some of you may get into a new relationship. But in general, because I don't do relationship reading, uh, the energies I pick up would essentially be a new romance with self and always almost always has to do with uh, creativity. So entering a new partnership within self in one's creative energy. So you may have an upsurge of creative ideas, creative force coming at play in your life, right? So if you are someone who's creative, whether you're creating videos or writing or whatever, maybe that is a wonderful time to start uh, your new projects, okay? Or start things, start the ball rolling. So that's happening in about two weeks. And then we have here, have faith in your dreams. And this is constant, of course, right? No, no deadline, no timeline in that sense. And uh, let's see what we get from uh, soul truth and soul action. So Leo, if you need more clarity in your personal life and you like a personalized session, you can always book a session. Details are down below in the description. So let's see what it is for you, Leo. Let's pick. And we have, am I communicating my needs? Okay, important. Um, journal these answers. What are my needs? Am I saying no and yes enough based on my desires? Am I telling my full truth? Do I believe that my needs matter? And do I share them with others? Do I ask for what I want when communicating my needs? What am I resisting and with whom? What do I need to, in order to feel safe enough to express my needs? Okay, a good reminder there. And let's pick an inspirational one for you from the fairy deck, Leo. And we have here, magical blessings. Very nice. Okay, and it says, whatever you're going through, you are being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. All right. So Leo, have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.